Good morning, friends. My name is Pankaj Dumka. Today, we will be solving few problems on thermodynamic relation. And before we start that, I would like to tell you something. A uh, few factors, just like beta. Beta is coefficient of expansion, and it is defined as one upon v del v by del t at constant pressure second one is isothermal compressibility okay some people used to write t i will write t to make this familiar as temperature isothermal so isothermal compressibility is minus 1 upon v del v by del p at constant temperature and the third and the final one is known as isentropic compressibility and that is minus 1 upon v del v by del p at constant entropy so with the help of these we will be solving few problems so let us say first it has been asked to prove that to prove that cp by cv is k t upon k s it is to prove that cp by cv this ratio is equal to kt by ks so how to prove it so the starting point for this will be our tds relations so one of the tds relation says tds is equal to cp dt minus t del v by del t at constant pressure dp and the second one says tds is equal to cv dt plus t del p by del t at constant volume dv so if the process is isentropic that means entropy do not change so that means entropy do not change then the first relation can be written as this relation can be written as cp del t by del p at constant entropy is t del v by del t at constant pressure and the second relation can be written as cv del t by del v at constant entropy is equal to minus t del p by del t at constant volume now to do one thing to do one thing you you divide this equation these equations and you will get cp by cv del v by del p at constant entropy is equal to minus and del v by del t at constant pressure to that of del p by del t at constant volume this now you bring this on the right side you will get cp by cv is equal to minus del v by del t at constant pressure divided by del p by del t at constant volume this multiplied by bringing this here del p by del v at constant entropy now i say let us say that the volume temperature and pressure they are connected then what can be done is using the first identity del v by del t keeping pressure constant into del t by del p keeping volume constant into del p by del v keeping temperature constant this thing is minus 1 so we have to prove kt by ks now kt is this del v by del p at constant temperature this one and ks is this so if we come to our expression 
we can find that we have what del v by del p at constant entropy is there inverse of it and the next task is to bring del v by del p at constant temperature here so you do one thing del v by uh, you see it is del v by del p at constant temperature if you bring this side you will get del v by del t at constant pressure into del t by del p at constant volume the negative of this is del v by del p at constant temperature so if you look here this expression it is del v by del t at constant pressure divided by del p by del t at constant volume this is what this is this expression so replacing the value of this which is this into this expression you will get cp by cv is minus this one del v by del p at constant temperature into del p by del v at constant entropy so writing it in correct sense this is negative here so 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 when this uh, so this whole negative is this so this will be uh, what this will be positive del v by del p at constant temperature divided by del p by del v at constant entropy so this numerator is my minus ktv and denominator is minus ksv so this will come out to be kt upon ks and i have seen that this particular problem has been asked in one of the years in engineering uh, for in one of the years in this examination engineering civil examination now next task next problem this is my problem number 1 and let us solve problem number 2 second problem second problem it says to prove that tds is equal to cv dt plus t beta by k into dv this has to be proved now the starting point of uh, the, st the starting point for this problem to be proved is one of the tds relation in which cv comes and that relation is this t del p by del t at constant volume dv so everything is in place except this term so if i say that pressure temperature and volume they are related then what i can write i can write this at constant volume into del t by del v at constant pressure into del v by del p at constant temperature and this is minus so del p by del t at constant volume so del p by del t at constant volume will be equal to minus uh, will be equal to minus del v by del t at constant pressure divided by del v by del p at constant temperature and you know what this minus del v by del t at constant pressure this is beta this is beta into v and what is denominator del v by del p at constant temperature it is minus ktv so this will get cancelled out this will get cancelled out and you will get beta by k so hence hence we can replace the value of del p by del t at constant volume here with the value beta by k and we will get for this expression so we have proved this this is this has also been asked in one of the engineering service examination and the second thing the second thing to prove is this prove that prove that t 
TDS is equal to CT DT minus T V beta DT. Now how to prove this? The starting point for this will be TDS is equal to CT DT minus T del V by del T at constant pressure dB. You all know this is one of the TDS relation. So at the same time we know that we know that beta is defined as 1 upon v del v by del t at constant pressure so del v by del t at constant pressure will be beta v so replacing the value of this into this expression we will get tds is equal to cp dt minus t beta v dt this has also been asked in one of the engineering service examination now now a very important problem to prove and uh, it says that consider uh, it says that the problem says that uh, prove that problem says prove that that cp minus cv is equal to r upon 1 minus 2a v minus b square by r t v cube for van der Waal gas equation and what and what is van der Waal gas equation p plus a by v square into v minus b is equal to rt 